Um, so, first guys, automatically what I look at, all right, if I was going to look at this in my head, I see, all right, there's a function inside of another function, right? So I have two functions here. I obviously have this crazy function raised to the 10th power. And then multiplied by it, I'm like, hmm, is that the derivative of inside of there? No, it's not the derivative, but could I just add, could I just multiply by a correction and make it all good? Make it the derivative? Because what is the derivative of this? Is 3x squared. But I only have an x squared, so that means I just need to multiply, I would have to multiply by 1 third, right? So I could basically do this in my head. I'd be multiplying by uh, 1 third, and then I'd just have to take 1 third times the antiderivative of u to the 10th power, which would be 1 to the 11th. So therefore, it would be 1 third times 1 11th times um, this raised to the 11th power. But that was a little bit too much for you in your head. Let's just break it down and say, well, I have this big function, right? You're comparing these two functions. This is obviously the larger one, the parent, like the big box that got unraveled, right? Because remember the chain rule, you have the big function, and then it just unravels into smaller and smaller functions or pieces, right? So here's the big function. We could say u is x cubed plus 4 du dx equals 3x squared. I don't have a 3x squared. Well, let's solve for, um, but I could say du is equal to, if I multiply by dx on both sides, 3x squared dx. Now, I have the x squared. That's good. But basically, the way that you guys could kind of think about this, if you want to solve for dx, you could basically say, or not solve for dx, but if you um, replace this, you could say du times 1 third is equal to x squared dx. Now, in this problem, do I have an x squared and a dx? Yeah. And the x squared and the dx is equal to 1 third du, right? So if I replace this as 1 third, now I'm not going to put the 1 third and the du next to each other because we like to have the constants in front, u to the 10th power, and then du. But do you guys see how I, I have not changed everything. I'm just replacing it. I'm taking this big function, and I'm rewriting it as u to the 10th power, where I'm substituting in x cubed plus 4 as u, because that just makes the antiderivative a little bit easier to do. And then I am replacing dx squared dx with 1 third du. Okay? And again, you don't have to show all this work. The better you get at this, the faster you can just do this without having to show that. I could bring out the 1 third. And therefore, I'm basically just integrating u to the 10th du. Well, that's not that hard, right? That's going to be 1 third times 1 over 11 times u to the 11th plus c. Then I just replace back my u. I get 1 over 33 times x cubed plus 4 to the 11th power plus c. And there you go. What happens when you integrate, right? When you, in, right? When you integrate based with respect to du, you, 